to it of just a small investigation. Yeah, and Chicago PD, they hot on the case. Yeah, they got the detectives on it, right? Got some detectives on it. And they've actually reviewed hundreds of hours of video surveillance in the area. Hundreds of hours? Hundreds of hours. I bet you got all kinds of evidence. All kinds. I bet you got skin cells, all kinds of DNA. I bet you didn't find some semen, buddy. <laughs> I bet you got the bottle of bleach. They know where the damn bleach is manufactured. They know what lot and everything. Yeah, they, they noose has got this. Yeah. It's got fibers. I bet you got fibers. I bet you the ski mask. I bet y'all got all kinds of slobber in that, man. They reviewed the footage. They can't find nothing. What? <laughs> they can't find nothing. <laughs> they ain't found a damn thing. Did they at least find him? They found him in Subway eating at 2 o'clock in the morning. Huh, something ain't adding up. Hey, man, I actually, you know what? I hope they find the perpetrators. Yeah, because this is ugly, man. Anybody that's going to get attacked over their skin color or sexual preference, man, yeah, that's, that's that, evil, man. That is horrible. So I don't I don't say you didn't get whooped. Yeah. Uh, look like you got whooped by two women because if it was two dudes, <laughs> your face should be swollen. Yeah, I've been, in fact, I've been jumped by dudes, man, and I got fucked up. <laughs> I was hitting emergency room. I, these damn group of Mexicans beat my ass with some crowbars. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they tried to beat the black off my ass, right? It don't look like me, you got jumped, man. But anyway, maybe it was the girly men. <laughs> but anyway, let's get serious on this. Yeah. I actually don't find you credible. It's Jesse. Not Jesse. It's Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> look what he tweeted to the President of the United States. The leader of the free world, I might add. The most powerful man in the world. Read the tweet. He said, shut the hell up, you bitch. You will continue to run this country further into the ground and risk lives every time you breathe. You're not the president, just a dumpster full of hate. F-O-H, what does that mean? Uh, F out of here. Cussing. Watch your mouth, Jesse. Sick to my stomach that literal shit currently represents America to the world. Wow. You know what, Jesse? Jesse? <laughs> I think you have what is called Trump derangement syndrome. And one of the side effects of this horrible disease, yeah. the people that are afflicted <laughs> by it, they will say and do anything to hurt the president and his followers. It's kind of crazy. I heard it was 20 degrees below zero that night. You wouldn't cover it up? Right. Yeah. <laughs> so I said, you just walk out? <laughs> I'm doing Subway and give me that new Philly cheesesteak sandwich. You know what I'm saying? How's somebody gonna recognize you? And why ain't no footage? Or these people anywhere. I hope they find some footage. I hope they find a perpetrator, Jesse. Yeah. I hope they do, man. Yeah. This is, this is not making America great again. Yeah, and that's not what this slogan stands for. So I wish people would stop comparing that slogan to racist. It's yeah. not a racist slogan. Let's make America great again. Yeah. That's tightening up on immigration. Yeah, it's tightening up on crime. Getting government out of people's pockets. Bringing manufacturing jobs back Bringing to Bringing jobs back to the country. That's what make America great again means. Yeah. Tired of this email. I think I'm a lesbian, but I'm not sure. Hey man, that's too strong of a word. Take baby steps. Why don't you just go with bisexual? Cause you know you like that dick. But you like a little carpet munching too. Like that finger banging action. Just leave them knuckles hanging out. But you know you like them nuts hanging out too. Why don't you just take baby steps? Hold on, let me read the email. You're definitely bisexual. Hi, Keith and Kelly. Take baby steps, man. I'm 18 years old. Oh, you, you just oh. became legal. Oh, and she think about muff diving? Oh, you young and tender. Oh, man, I wish I could sit back off in the corner and just watch. Then yeah. I slide off up and say, hey, can I have some too? I'm just gonna stick the head in. Yeah. Hold on, read the email. I'm 18 years old. Get the fuck off me. I'm 18 years old and I had no romantic or sexual experiences. Ooh. Oh, you ain't been busted open yet. <laughs> you ain't had that big BBC or that big white mushroom tip just taped you wide. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I've never really been attracted to a dude enough to want to be with him. Yeah, you definitely lesbian. Hold up, let me read the email. She ain't attracted dude, she licking a bunch of women thinking about carpet diving? If I see a guy I find attractive, I don't think much of it. I'll just think, oh, he's cute and that's it, nothing more. Another red flag. But when I see an attractive girl, I start to fantasize.